Alright, so we're back with another episode of Amer uh, Farming Simulator. So, I almost said American Truck Simulator. Uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't been playing that game yet, but... Um, anyways, so we're going to keep continuing chopping here and different things like that. So, But, anywho... Continuing chopping from the last video, so and I don't know how many, how much chopping you guys want to see, but I think I might do this video of chopping and then go on to something else. So I think I might do the odd jobs next video. Probably take some cattle out and stuff like that, so get some manure hauled, some slurry hauled probably, and that kind of stuff, and, oh yeah, that's right, that's from when I missed it last time, but yeah, so that's probably what's going to be coming up in the next video, um, maybe, you know, I'll do that, maybe haul a load of manure, green, another greenhouse probably, um, load of cattle, um, some slurry, and maybe mowing some weeds and stuff, um, things like that, um, so, yeah, getting right into the chopping this video, so, but, That's one thing about chopping corn, these things fill up pretty damn quick. So, I mean, we saw in the previous video, we already dumped one load so far. Well, one load and then we got another load loaded up, so. Back that up as straight as possible. Tractor. I think I might actually need more chopper boxes. <laughs> Three is just not cutting it anymore. So. Mirrors actually work, but they're tipped way out. You can't really see what you want to see from it, so. Cool. Almost hit the chopper there. Almost had a horrendous crash. Wow, the lights from that chopper are really freaking blinding. Holy crap. I 
but yeah, I I don't know what's going on with the side of that chapel because it's um, I, the silage. You know, I don't know why the silage you know shows through that. I, I really don't know, but I, I guess um, not much I can do about it. So. <laughs> um, I guess that's the way it goes with that, but, uh, anywho, <sighs> so to the chopper again. Oh yeah, I think another thing I'm gonna do in that brain squirrel moment. Uh, I think another thing I'm gonna do in that uh, odd jobs video is probably uh, load up the TMR and stuff like that. So. But anywho. And uh, just watch the. Um, New Dave Spell stand up. <clears throat> Pretty good. Uh, I watched the other two they had out. It came out earlier. Was it last year, year before, something like that? Um, pretty good. And then uh, his new one just came out not long ago. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. Funny as hell. So if you guys like stand up comedy, that's it's definitely something to check out. Um, and then. Uh, Bill Burr, another one of my favorite comedians, he uh, just had a new special come out on Netflix too, and that's, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd have to say probably my uh, top five comedians would probably be uh, Dave Chappelle, and then um, Bill Burr, and then uh, Ron White, and uh, probably then would be Gabriel Iglesias and I don't know if you guys have heard of the comedian Big J Okerson but uh, Big J Okerson's funny as hell shut this off for a time being because now we got silage we gotta haul back and unload so spike but it appears as though the worker is done with that field so I'll probably have to move him over to another field and I think I might actually do I got a couple fields that I've used once or twice before. I just don't use them a whole lot. So I think I might actually plant those fields in beans um, and do beans in that field. So, in those two fields. Just for something different. But, anyways, yeah. Those uh, comedy specials are pretty, uh, pretty neat, cool to check out. So pretty, pretty fucking funny. Um, I literally was laughing to the point where I was wheezing. Um, and my wife, she doesn't really like stand-up comedy. 
that much, so I pretty much, you know, just watching by myself, you know, she's more into, like, that Vampire Diaries and fucking Gilmore Girls and all that kind of shit, and it's just like, really, babe, it's like every time she's watching TV, she's she's watching something like that, or, or she's watching, you know, chick flicks or whatever, and she's on this show called Heartland, and it's about this ranch or whatever in, in Canada, it's, it's not bad, but it's, I don't know, it's not really, it's still pretty chick flicky, and honestly, but I have to say, probably hands down, my favorite show on Netflix is probably The Ranch. I fucking love that show, and that's either just came out or it'll be out soon. I can't remember now. I'll have to double check tonight when the wife gets home and <clears throat> maybe watch some new episodes of The Ranch if it's out. But um, I love that show. I love um, Sam Elliott. I just, I've always, he's always been one of my favorite actors, one of my absolute favorite actors, so, um, that, and, you know, I do like Ashley Kutcher, and the thing that pissed me off was, uh, Danny Masterson, you know, the one who played Brewster, he played Hyde in that 70s show or whatever, and he, um, had some, uh, sex sexual abuse allegations or whatever come out and so of course they they wrote him off the show and in case you haven't seen it and you, and you want to check it out um I'm not gonna you know give any details about that so and if you have already watched Ranch and, and whatnot you you already know what's going on with that so but um yeah he had those allegations come out and um end up getting fired over it, and before you guys <laughs> go all crazy on me, I'm not taking a uh, <laughs> pro-sexual assault uh, <laughs> stance here, but um, for all we know, it could have been bullshit. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where this thing's happened before, and it turned out to be absolute crap. It wasn't true. Uh, Danny Masterson had accusations of it when he was on that 70s show. It turned out to be not true. Uh, he was on the show called Men at Work. It was on TBS. Um, that was an awesome show, and he had sexual allegations come up on that, and it turned out to be bullshit. So, I'm sensing a pattern, um, but I just, I don't know, it, it's, it could have happened, it could not have, you know, it might not have happened, and I'm not saying that, you know, you know rape's not something that, that, that should be happening, because it shouldn't, you know, it's a fucking horrible thing, and... I'm a firm believer that rapists and child molesters should uh, just have their balls cut off with a rusty buck knife, but, you know, th that's the fucked up thing is, you know, what if it comes to find out that none of those allegations were true and he got fired and everything for no damn reason, you know, so... That's, you know, it's, it's happened to this guy before, and it's, it's happened in other cases before, and it's where it turned out to be bullshit. And, you know, if, I'm a firm believer, if a guy is going to go to prison or get in trouble for causing this sort of heinous crime, um, and that's a steel line from SVU, but... I also believe that if a woman falsely accuses somebody of, of doing it, I don't understand why they would not get in trouble too. You know, that's 
just my opinions on it, and I think, in all, in all honesty, if it turns out to be bullshit and none of it was true, you know, I kind of hope it is, because the show just wasn't the same without without him playing Rooster, you know, it just, it just wasn't, and, you know, if, if it all becomes untrue, hopefully the dude gets his job back and they put him back on the show, even though I guess he was only supposed to be this season and another season coming up and then I think it's supposed to be done, but, um, you know, that's, I just, I think it's stupid. You know, especially if it is not true, because here you are, you've, you know, he lost his job on the show, and that kind of thing, and for no reason, you know, if it is, if it isn't true, you know, if, if the whole thing was made up, you know, so, I just, I don't know, I'd like to think he didn't do it, and I'm pretty sure he didn't. But, you know, there is there is always that chance that, you know, somebody that you, you know, kind of, uh, maybe not necessarily look up to, but somebody that you like, you know, an, an actor that you like, and, and somebody that you wouldn't think would never do it, you know, could possibly do it. So, I don't know. It's kind of shitty to think about, but, I mean, and when the whole Bill Cosby thing came out, like, I didn't want to believe that shit was true, you know, and that whole thing came about, and I'm not saying he didn't do it, but it, it, all of a sudden it just seemed like, you know, 52 rapes, really, you know, how much do you want to bet some of those are just somebody jumping on the batting wagon looking for a couple bucks thrown their way? You know, that's... And I'm not saying that, you know, what he did was, was right. Um, but... You know, it was really hard for me to believe it because, you know, when I'm a kid and, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm waiting for the bus or whatever after I get my chores done, you know, and I come back in and I, I got some time while I'm waiting for the, for the school bus, you know, and, and that... Um, you know, I'd sit there and watch, like, the Cosby show, or, or watch it, you know, on Saturday mornings, you know, when I got <clears throat> chores and things done. So, you know, and on top of that, you know, I had also heard that when Dr. King gave his I Have a Dream speech, that Bill Cosby had paid for the podium and, and, and things for that speech. Now, I don't know how much of that is true, um, but, you know, you understand my point, where it's, you, you don't really want to believe it, because this is somebody that you grew up, you know, kind of watching, and, you know, I laughed at his comedies, I, you know, stand up and everything, and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, so, and, you know, everything that, you know, the good that he did, you know, it's, you, you don't want to believe it, because that's somebody you kind of idolize, that's somebody that you kind of, you know, grew up with, you know, grew up watching, and, and, and all that kind of stuff, so, I mean, if I find out, you know, in 20 years or whatever, that Dave Chappelle fucking raped 50 people, you know, I'm gonna be like, motherfucker, I'm not gonna want to believe that either, I, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna want to believe it, um, I mean, I guess probably the only one that's <laughs> gonna believe that shit's true is probably, you know, Cat Williams or Kevin Hart, <laughs> and that poor bastard, not only does he have a sex tape come out <laughs> last year or whatever the hell, I mean, now he's, uh, and then he was involved in that accident, so that was, I don't know, I just, I just think some of these, maybe some of these allegations and things, 
I'm not saying it's not true, and I'm not saying that some people don't do this, because, you know, you can tell one look at Harvey Weinstein that, yeah, he, he rapes, he, he definitely, he definitely fucking rapes, you know, so, <laughs> um, but I'm almost wondering how much of it is just a cash grab, you know what I'm saying? How much of it is actually true, and how much of it is, you know, just somebody trying to, you know, make a buck, like, you know, this shit that happened with Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and different things like that. Um, like Bill Burr said, you know, um, gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men, but, uh, we don't have that fucked up Rihanna face afterwards, <laughs> so, but, you know, and I guess, I, I don't know, maybe if I get popular on YouTube or something, uh, maybe it might come out, and that I did something, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not true, it is not true, the only sex tape or whatever you're probably gonna, uh, have come out, um, is my wife, so, I mean, how, how would that, uh, how would that play out, can you believe this sick bastard had sex with his wife, oh my god, what an asshole, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> who knows, <laughs> who knows, but, uh, <laughs> uh, my wife's probably gonna, uh, <laughs> murder me uh, over this and if she accidentally finds the um, videos that I accidentally uploaded to uh, Pornhub you know this spring and just you know never took accidentally just never took it down you know hey um, then she probably will but uh, <laughs> nah I'm just kidding um, <laughs> you will not see any porno videos of Grainbin out there, and if you do, uh, you're not gonna recognize the porn name. So, <laughs> think I'd put Grainbin down for my fucking porn name? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> shit would be like James Cummins or some shit. <laughs> and how I got that was, um, well, I have a Cummins, and my dad's middle name is James. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great way to come up with your porn name, uh, in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but no, but anyways, after I got on this long uh, <laughs> talk about. <laughs> unsolicited sex and uh <laughs> um <laughs> sex tapes and stuff but uh, yeah the uh the ranch it's it's a pretty good show and if you haven't checked that out definitely check it out it is a good show um so they they left quite a cliffhanger at the end of the season so um the last season so I don't know, um, it's going to be kind of nice, cool to see uh, how everything turns out, and short of a sex tape of uh, Sam Elliott or Ashton Kutcher coming out, I think, uh, <laughs> we're allegations coming out against one of those two, uh, I think we'll figure out how it ends, um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess if it does come out the same way, it did do something like that. Um, how bad could it have been? I mean, I don't think Sam Elliott could really rape anybody. I, I just, it's not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. I mean, not only is he not the person I would think would never do it, um, literally every woman from the age of, I'd say at least. I'm saying probably 20 years old to fucking 
seven years old, has the hots for him, and would probably bang him if they had the chance. I mean, my wife has even said, he's old enough to be my grandpa, but there's just something about that dude. I, it might happen. You know, I'm, I might have to, might hook up with him if I had the chance. And honestly, my words to that was, I guess that means I get a new Cummins. Because, um, yeah, then allegations would come out. <laughs> uh, not because I don't like the guy, but uh, because of my own greed. <laughs> but uh, I'd probably be willing to take hush money in that situation. <laughs> I don't need much. I mean, shit. <laughs> uh, nice Cummins and uh, a 200 acre farm and maybe a hunting cabin up north. That's all it's going to take. <laughs> I mean, shit, that's only, you know, probably five, six million bucks. I mean, he's probably got that to spare, so. <laughs> Oh shit. Unhooked the wrong one again. Over here talking about sex tapes and getting all in trouble, so. <laughs> but I will say this though, I mean, if given the chance to make a sex tape with Emma Watson, I'm probably going to do it. Or Jennifer Aniston. I'm sorry, but I've had a crush on Jennifer Aniston since I was probably fucking six, eight years old. Something like that. I mean, she's 50 and looks better than 90% of the female celebrities out there. I mean, that's just... This is crazy. I mean, it's... I guess she's like an old Mustang. Just gets better with age. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> uh, now my wife is actually going to kill me. <laughs> oh, shit. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. But, um... Yeah, so if a sex tape comes out with me and Emma Watson... Mind your own business. I'm just trying to get that Cummins in my farm. I mean, that's 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 all there is to it. That's that's all I'm doing. Don't judge me. <laughs> I mean, I've had the hots for her since I was 11 years old. She's the same age as me. Um, however, now when I go watch like the early, you know, because she was 11, same time I was 11. I mean, we're literally the same age. She's just a few months older than me. But um. I think she's smoking hot, but uh, now when I go back and let's say I watch the first Harry Potter, I feel like a freaking weirdo. I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but that's that's just kind of how I feel about it. it just makes you feel weird and creepy. I guess it's like the same thing where we're over at my mother-in-law's one time, and um. My mother-in-law goes, you want to see any uh, cute uh, baby pictures of Sam? And I'm just like, no. There, there's this, no. There's something oddly creepy about that. I, I know I'm married to the woman, but um, no. I just, there's just something oddly creepy about that. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to see it and I don't want to do it. Um... <laughs> time in the video, so that being said, I think it's, it's going to be about time to wrap this up, so I'll probably catch you on the flip side. Well, we got a few more minutes, but I think, I think actually what I might do is since I've already got a couple chopping videos done and out of the way, um, I think
think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I think I might actually just go ahead and replant this. And um, the next video will be like the odd jobs video. And then um, after that, I think I'll have I'll replant this in the corn, and then uh, do some uh, combining corn. I think I might actually do that, just for something different. But yeah, we're, we're just about done with this video in a few more minutes, but uh, we're about done with this field, so I think that's what I'm going to do, is just do some uh, odd job videos, and also, then when I go haul manure, um, that will give me a field to spread it on. So I think that uh, sounds like a pretty good idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think actually my last empty chopper box might actually take care of this. But I'm not sure. But yeah, I think <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do that next. We'll um, we'll do a uh, odd jobs video, and then uh, you know, we'll, we'll and that we'll cover. Um, We'll cover, yeah, manure hauling, slurry, probably another greenhouse. I got another load of cattle I gotta take. Um, and maybe mowing some weeds and stuff. We'll, we'll see what we have time for that in the video. But uh, I also want to make sure I get loading the um, <coughs> uh, TMR mixer. So I think we'll do that in the next video. And today I posted a video of my backlog, so I got a couple more of those yet to do, and then I'm good on that. So, am I going the right way? Yes. So, I got a couple more backlog videos to do, but... And then those will be caught up, and then everything that I recorded last night, because I recorded two videos last night, uh, both bail hauling videos, and then both chopping videos <coughs> I've done tonight, so um, I might actually just go ahead and release both bail hauling videos one day, and then do uh, both chopping videos the next day, but... Or I might split them up. We'll see how things go. I mean, I don't want to drop a bunch of videos and then not have another one ready to go for another week or so. So, So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And then I'm gonna, once I get this chopped up, I'm going to probably go ahead and replant it. Well, not replant it yet because I've got the slurry and, and the things to do on this field. So, And probably take some cattle and everything else. Probably what I'm going to do is do the haul some cattle first in the next video. Uh, then do the greenhouse, uh, then spread the normal manure, <clears throat> and then hopefully by then the uh, all the planting will be done on the other field, so then I can use that stagger to um, hook on the slurry tanker and take a load of slurry, so, and that's how oh, we're going to do that, so, but uh, anyways, this is the end of the video, I just got 
that little strip left to do. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said in the previous video, I do it because I enjoy doing it. I don't seem, I don't get a whole lot of views and, and things like that. So, the reason I, <coughs> I mod and, and release stuff and do these videos is because I enjoy doing it and I want to share with you guys, you know, what I've done and I just, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy videos, enjoy the videos and stuff and so, because I, I just, I truly enjoy doing it and, and for my YouTube career, the maximum I'm going to have is 10 views on these videos, well, then so be it, but hopefully those 10 people will enjoy the videos and, and continue to, to watch those videos so um yeah we're uh it's about gonna get this done so I guess that's all I got left to say and uh I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video and this is Green Bin and I'll catch you on the next episode of Farm Simulator doing odd jobs. Alright bye